If you're like me and you have a hard time getting rid of things and you've accumulated things over the year, there's a really surprising reason as to why that's happening. It's a spiritual reason and it's not one that you would think. I'm going to explain why we are so attached to stuff and to the crap that we keep hanging around our house and the surprising effect that it has on your energy field and what you can do to really start to free yourself from all of that clutter, start to declutter and reclaim your energy. That can be life changing. When I moved into the house that I'm in, this house had so much space. It seemed like it had never ending shelving units, just rooms, all sorts of space to keep stuff, right? My old house was kind of overflowing. I remember moving in here and saying to myself, boy, I'm never gonna fill this house. Well, over the years, stuff started to accumulate. Why did it accumulate? Well, I could have thrown stuff out, but you know what? I had a space to keep it and to put it because, you know, I might need it sometime in the future, right? So stuff started to stack up and sure enough, now the storage space is full. In fact, it's overflowing. So over the years, I've accumulated things and that accumulation of things really slows down your energy. For me, I look around, I see stuff, and I start to get a little anxious and maybe a little stressed. What am I going to do with this? Why am I going to keep it? Remember when both my parents passed, we had an estate sale in their house. And before the estate sale, I went through and started taking things that had meaning, right? Well, it didn't really have meaning to me, but it had meaning to my parents. So I attached to that and ended up keeping a lot of things that really... I didn't need to keep. So that's part of the stuff that's in my basement now taking up space, right? So I identified with an old version of me that had some sort of an attachment to an emotion and allowed that to play out in my current, current state of presence and fill my space. Now that created stuck energy within my body. Now, when I look at the stuff, I'm like, what was I thinking? Why did I hang on to that? Now I have to do something about it and get rid of it. So again, more stuck energy in my field, it is pulling me out of presence and giving me a little anxiety and some stress because now I have to deal with this stuff that really I don't want. But you know, here's the interesting thing. When I took it to the house, I brought it to the house, it had meaning to me because I had attached that meaning to some emotional states within my parents. These things meant something to them. They had just passed. I inherited that energy. Therefore, I felt that there was meaning in this stuff to me. So I attached to that. But over the last three, four, five years, I was able to heal that. And now I'm just left with this stuff. So the stuff really has no meaning anymore because I've healed that. And now it's time to move it out. And that's exactly what I've been doing. I started to declutter, started to go through some of my old stuff and started to get rid of that too. It's interesting because we create all sorts of reasons to keep things. And the more space we seem to have, the more we want to fill it with stuff, with our crap, right? We don't want to throw it out because we don't have to. I have a place I can put it. Maybe I'll need it in the future. And that is something that really just slows down your energy. It clutters up your energetic field. It clutters up your space. Your space is a reflection of your energy. So when you look out into your home, into your space, and you see a lot of crap there, that has no meaning, it's just accumulated, right? That's what's going on within your body, energetically. So there's gonna come a point in time where you're gonna start to detach from that. Maybe you've realized or you've expanded in consciousness and realized that these things really no longer hold any meaning to you and there's no need to hold on to it. That's the beginning of the decluttering process. Your higher self comes through and says, hey, we've got a lot of stuck energy here it's reflected in this stuff that's manifested in the reality and in this cluttered space. It's time to start freeing up and reclaiming that space within the body energetically. And that manifests as re-clearing or reclaiming the space in your reality. That really looks like moving stuff out and decluttering. So if you've accumulated things, you've had a lot of energetic blockages. You've had a lot of attachments to these things for whatever the reasons were. Maybe you were anxious or you had some fear about throwing something out. Maybe you're going to need it in the future, right? So that's a belief that you held that was 
was manifesting based on stuck energy within your body. And therefore you held on to stuff and continued to clutter instead of healing that. When we start to move stuff out of our space, we start to create space. And that space is not only created physically in your home, but it's created within your body. And once that could happen, you're going to start to feel a little bit more energized because you're making space available for your higher self to drop in. You're making space available for an expansion in consciousness. Okay. When we're holding on and we're in the safe zone, we have all these memories around us, all this old stuff around us. We're living in our past. We're living as a small version of ourselves and we're resisting the expansion that our soul is showing us. Okay. So if you're feeling this need to declutter, right? Because you've detached from any of these emotional um, anchors to the stuff that you've had, or maybe just an over arching reason as to why you held on to stuff. Maybe it's not the particular things that had memories attached to it. Maybe there's some sort of a bigger reason why you didn't want to get rid of stuff. Like I said earlier, you had a fear that maybe we're going to need it in the future. When you could sit and start to work through that and, and just feel the energy, the emotional energy behind that, if it's fear, if it's anxiety, whatever it is, you're going to start to be able to detach from whatever that limiting belief was that was keeping all of this clutter in your home and all of this energetic clutter in your energy field. When we hang in this clutter and we're constantly reminded of our past, our energy flow slows down, you're going to get fatigued, you're going to get tired, you're going to start to experience that stress, you're going to start to experience that anxiety. Those are signs that your soul is asking you to lean into those emotions, fully feel them and start to let go. Let go of those emotions, start to release them. In the energy work that we do, we talk about releasing these dense emotions, right? Or transmuting these dense emotions. Well, we could start to release them and take action, action steps in our reality by starting to move some of this clutter out of your space. That will get your energy moving. You will realize that there is no longer an attachment to it. It's just things, things manifested in this physical reality. They're all around you taking up your space because you had some sort of a belief that told you that you needed it there for some reason, right? For me with my parents, there was this emotional attachment that they had that I allowed myself to inherit. What's important to them, I made a choice subconsciously at the time to say that this stuff's important to me. So I hoarded it in. I took what I felt was important. I took what I felt had true meaning to them and I held on to it. They're no longer here physically and where they are at, the physical stuff no longer has any meaning to them. So I was able to work through that to the point where now it's just clutter. So it's time to move it out. And that frees up or reclaims my energy that I had tied up in those beliefs that these things meant something, okay? Sure, there are memories attached to them, but I have memories of my parents. I don't need the things to constantly remind me of that. In fact, I have a connection with them. I could reach out and communicate. If you can't or don't have that connection, it's important that you work and lean into the memories that you do have with them, not the stuff. See, when we place the energy or the focus into the things, it anchors those things in our reality and it's very dense. It just builds up all around us and it clutters up our field and it clutters up our space. Get inside and feel, experience the memories, the true memories you had with them, being with them, not with the actual stuff, okay? Because again, that is just energetic and physical clutter. So how do we start to move this out? Well, we start to sit with the emotions. First of all, if we have a hard time getting started moving things out because they have meaning or attachment to us, we start to sit with those emotions. You're living in the past at that moment, right? These things are just representations of the past. And the past is a less conscious, smaller, lower vibrating version of you. So you want to sit with that. You want to sit with what would it feel like to release this? And you're probably going to come across some emotions that say, well, I don't want to do that. There's still an attachment to it. And that's okay. You sit with those emotions. You sit with those emotions. You breathe into the body. You breathe into the heart space. And you shift your thought to what would it feel like if I were able to release this and reclaim my space? Okay, because these things are only attaching you to memories of your past. 
They're not bringing you to the past. You're not re-experiencing those past moments. You're just experiencing the emotional states that these represent. So when you can get in and experience the emotions and attach them to a true memory, if it's me with my parents, I could sit and I could think about times I've spent with my parents instead of looking at their stuff, I could start to release those attachments to those things. If maybe you've just accumulated things because you had space and you didn't want to throw it out, how about sitting with the emotion of what it would feel like to just relieve yourself of all of these things, to move it out, reclaim that physical space, feel the expansion or the expansiveness of reclaiming that space and getting your energy moving within your body. That's going to restore energy flow, right? It's going to relieve that anxiety. There's the things in your reality are a constant reminder of that stress and anxiety, right? All the clutter. It's going to alleviate that. It's going to make you less stressed, less anxious. It's going to make you feel more expansive. It's even going to start to restore some of your energy. So if you're feeling fatigued, feeling tired, because you have all this stuff around, it's cluttering your energy. It's cluttering your physical space. You feel like I just don't have the energy to do anything. Sit with that emotion, feel it, and start to imagine what it would look like with all the space reclaimed, right? You're going to feel that shift inward. You're going to get some motivation to start to do the work to declutter. And as you declutter, you're going to reclaim the space within your body. More of your higher self is going to drop in. Consciousness is going to expand. And your reality, your home, is going to feel so much bigger, so much more expansive because you have decluttered. You've moved out the stuff that had been anchoring you to an older version of you. If this video resonated, watch this one next. Be so grateful. Thank you.